It's 2018. Can you get a job with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Hmm, let's talk about it. If you're just starting your journey into web development, I'm sure you've thought of the question, man, do I just need HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to get a job? Well, it depends. But in most cases, it's not gonna hurt you to know more than just that. It depends on the area that you're in, how hot web development is, and maybe even how much you're willing to take as far as pay goes. Uh, that's a great way to get started. But if you really want to stand out and have longevity in this career or in this industry, you're going to have to know something to go with those, right? It's like the equivalent of knowing like Microsoft Office. Sure, back in the day, that was a plus, right? That was good to put on your resume, but that is expected now. If you're going to do web development, it's expected for you to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. What's going to make you unique? Maybe a JavaScript framework, uh, some design skills, some SaaS skills, uh, maybe it's security or social media, something that's going to make you stand out is going to give you longevity. I've never gotten a job just because I knew HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I had to have something else to go with it. Some UX uh, savviness, some marketing savvy. All these things really have played into me. It's really made me just me, right? It's just my skill set. It doesn't have to do with a specific job I'm trying to get, but I, I've made myself look unique and a lot of other people have too. Uh, some people learn Angular, some people learn React, some people learn something else, like design. These are all things that you should be adding to your skill set. And I understand if you just start out, that can seem overwhelming and you'll never get there. N no, that's not true. But you've got to look at this as a continual learning process and it might take you longer than three months or six months to get a job. Maybe not. It's, but if you have like a background in graphic design or something like that, Mm, that's a choice, right? That's gonna be great for you. And that's really all I have to say about that. A lot of this information has been covered in a different video about needing a CS degree to uh, get into web development. And I'm gonna link that video here. Go ahead and see that video if you wanna see more of this and, and how uh, this is related to that, because you're gonna find out even more about what you need to get into web development, uh, regardless of whether you have a degree or not. Let me know in the comments if you have a different opinion on this, what type of video you'd like to see up and coming, or just how I'm doing. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get an update every time I put out a video and give me some of these likes. Talk to you next time.